Hi, everybody. Um, we're just going to give it one more second here, um, and then we'll get started. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, Ethan Long here with uh, Happy County, uh, Car Signs and Porcupines. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah. yeah, there we go. Hi. You got it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm just going to introduce him really fast, and then we're going to get going here. Um, and we'll leave a little time at the end, guys, in case you have any questions or if you want to say hi to Ethan. Um, and he's got a really exciting, I just watched him do it, um, some really exciting uh, drawing that he's going to do for us. But uh, I just want to let you know, uh, well, first of all, good morning. Uh, my name is Jeremy from uh, Midtown Reader here, uh, independent bookstore here in Tallahassee. And uh, we are so excited to have Ethan Long um, with Cars, Signs, and Porcupines from the Happy County series. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about the book and about Ethan in a second, but I wanted to let you know that you can purchase this book from Midtown Reader at midtownreader.com by giving us a call or by stopping by. Uh, we're open for browsing uh, Tuesdays through Saturday from 10 to 6, Sundays from 10 to 4, and Monday afternoons by appointment. We also offer delivery anywhere in Tallahassee, and we will happily ship anywhere outside of Tallahassee. And here's just a little bit about Ethan. Uh, Ethan Long is the accomplished author and illustrator of many books for children, including Hello World, Sun and Moon Together, and Car Signs and Porcupines, book one, two, and three in the Happy County series, as well as Tickle the Duck, Fright Club, Valenstein's, Thanksgiving, Camellia and Up, Tall and High, for which he received the Giesel Award. He is the illustrator of Dump Trucks Colors and Senient Mixers ABC, two board books in the best-selling Good Night, Good Night construction site series. He's also the creator of the animated Emmy-nominated nom series, Tasty Time with Z Frank. Ethan lives with his family in Orlando, Florida. I know, it's a mouthful, but I wanna get it all out there. All right, uh, anyway, hi, Ethan. <laughs> uh, you, I think you're muted. You are muted. There you are. I am. I muted myself because I clear my throat a lot and I didn't want to interrupt you. <laughs> Thank uh, you for right. the introduction. I appreciate yeah. it. Well, let's, um, I know, we, I think we're going to start off when you're going to do a little bit of reading from the book. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let yeah. Me, so let me real quick, I'm going to be reading from the Happy County series. Uh, the first book was called Hello World. The second book titled Sun and Moon Together. And the third book in the series, which is Cars, Signs, and Porcupines, is what I'll be reading from today. So I'm going to go through about 19 pages of it. I think it's too long to read the whole thing. It's 48 pages, so uh, we can read for um, a few minutes. And then after that, I'm going to draw some pictures. Look at that. Yeah. That looks great. OK. And I realized I don't have to hold the book up. It's great. <laughs> Hap, uh, Happy County, Cars, Signs, and Porcupines by Ethan Long. Can you see it? Oh, see, I'm holding it up again. <laughs> I'm so used to it. Good morning. Oh, go to, uh, go to the pink page. Uh, first, the first pink page. Uh, oh. next, yeah, that one. This one. Here we are. Oh, no, the next one. The next one. Okay, there we go. There we go. There Sorry we go. about that. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'll beep. I'll go beep when it's okay. time to turn the page. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> good morning. What an amazing, beautiful, bustling morning it is in Happy County. Today looks like the perfect weather for a hike or a relaxing drive or even going out for breakfast. The sun is in full view. Mrs. Antelope picked up some fresh cantaloupe. Little Beaky and Farmer Dell are warming up the tractor. The Bright Brothers are testing out their newest invention, the Solar Sail 5000. Look closely, you can see Little Beaky and Farmer Dell. If you look right in the middle of the page, there's a cow. If you look to the left of there, there's a, a farmer and uh, he's chasing a little, little chick. The Bright Brothers are testing out their new uh, sail. Uh, the Supercell 5000 up in the right-hand corner on the road. And Mrs. Antelope picking fresh cantaloupe is right below the bridge on the left to the right. You'll see her 
in their garden. Mr. Birdsong, you're still in your pajamas? Yippers! Everyone's wheels are in full motion, and that's a good sign. Let's get this day rolling. Beep! County helpers. Wow, the Happy County workers are already making their rounds. Greetings, everyone. Hi. Howdy. Hola. What's happening? It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello, hello. Top of the morning to ya. Oh no, the water tower has sprung a leak. Water is falling everywhere. It's flooding the French fry factory. It's drenching the donut den. It's pouring all over Polly and Polly's porcupine playland. Or playful porcupines. Beep. Types of signs. Porcupines are smart, but they may not know that traffic signs are divided into categories. The shape and color of the traffic sign communicates important information about the sign's message. Regulatory signs tell, about, tell you about regulations you must follow. For example, the stop sign tells you there's an intersection ahead and you need to slow down to a full stop. Guide signs direct you. They include street name signs, route marker signs, expressway signs, freeway signs, and informational signs. Warning signs indicate a potential hazard, obstacle, or condition requiring special attention. The br their bright color is telling you to look out! Which sign should go here? How about here? So this is a game where you would pick the signs from the left and try to match them up to the signs to the right, depending on what is needed in that particular part of town. Some of them are rail, one of them is a railroad sign, one of them would be a yield sign. So that's a nice little game, fun game to play. And then the people are saying, fill the tank, Hank. You brought your picnic. The lock stops here. County Mounties, we need you. And the reason they need the County Mounties, because there's porcupines on the loose. And the County Mounties are down eating at house hot dogs. Beep. Porcupine Patrol. County Mounties to the rescue. Hurry, catch these porcupines. There's Mountie Wally, Mountie Polly, and Mountie Raleigh. The County Mounties assess the situation. Assess means to look at the situation at hand, then think of a plan. The porcupines are everywhere. They're hard to catch too, and they're having so much fun. Maybe they'll respond to piano playing. They're not listening. Maybe they like peppered pork chops. I can't even say that. Maybe they <laughs> like peppered pork chops. Porcupines do not eat pork chops. I bet the porcupines would prefer my Aunt Petunia's homemade pickled papayas. Help! I think we have a real problem here. Beep! This way and that way. The county mounties are having a hard time catching those playful porcupines. It's a good thing you're here to help to point them out. How many do you see? I forget how many there are. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read the signs along with the county mountains and the porcupines? So there's signs all over the place. Be courteous, share the road, exit, truck route, rest area. What else do you notice? Do you see the star on the car? How about the duck in the truck? Can you spot the pan on the van? This is quite a traffic jam. Peachy, just peachy. Paint those lines. Oh, I'm sorry. Beep. <laughs> Paint those lines. The line painting crew is hard at work. They love their job and are a good team. Sometimes the crew paints solid lines. And sometimes they paint dashed lines. Other times the lines need to be a combination of solid and dashed. Sometimes the lines are yellow. And sometimes the lines are other colors. In the end, the lines need to be very straight. Wow, crew, we've never seen you paint zigzag lines before. They are super pointy. Well, what do you expect? Look who's driving the truck. And of course, the porcupines are driving the truck. So I'm going to leave it at that. 
you will have to uh, purchase the book or get it from the li borrow it from the library to uh, know more about this book. But um, it's it was fun to work on. If you don't mind me sharing my screen, yeah, go for it, please. I can um, I can show you a PDF of the next book. There's a book four. Can you see that? Uh, I'm seeing your uh, Photoshop yeah, window can right you see, now. Yeah. Hold on a second. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. So this is season to season. This is book four. I don't know why it's not coming through very well. Uh, let me reopen it. Yeah. Let me reopen it real quick. Sure. There it is. So, so this is the cover. This is the back cover. These are the flaps. So it's called season to season and it goes through a full season of, of one year in Happy County. Um, we've got a whole new cast of characters. Some of them are repeat characters. Other ones are new like Wild West and Miss Honeycrisp and Mr. Humdinger. Um, and like I said, this goes through uh, the four seasons. It starts in, uh, starts in summer and goes through fall and school and um, goes through the snow. Here, I'll show you to get to the snow real quick. Goes through the snow. You get to meet, you get to meet Molly and Dolly. You get to meet uh, Wild West at some point. You get to meet Mr. Humdinger right here. So it's a fun book. This comes out, um, I think um, it comes out in the fall of this year, <clears throat> but they may push it back to the spring of next year because of COVID. I'm not exactly sure what my publishing schedule looks like right now, but um, COVID kind of messed with it a little bit. So what I'd like to do today right now is um, I'd like you to draw, to draw you two characters from the book, from the new book. Um, there are two characters called Voof and Kvack. So I'll, I'll try to hold those up. Can you see Voof and Kvack right there? Mm -hmm. they're, from, uh, they're from overseas, so they don't speak, uh, they don't speak our, our, our language very well. So they say Voof and they say Kvack. And as you can guess, one of them is a dog and one of them is a duck. Yes, Jeremy. Do you I was going to say, say um, you know, you have a pretty cool piece of equipment that you're drawing on. Is there any way you can oh. hold it up just to show it so that I think the kids will be interested in that? Is let that possible? Me, or, is, or Let me see. It's probably you might easier not be able to. to. You can tell them about it if you want. <laughs> How about this? Can you see that? Yeah. So this you is my tell the Cintiq. Kids a little bit? Yeah. So this is my Cintiq. It's basically a giant iPad and it hooks up to my computer and I can draw right on the screen with it. It's 24 inches, um, and it just gives me a lot, of, a lot of room to move around. It gives me a lot of, uh, a lot of options. And uh, <clears throat> next week, I'm getting a new computer that will hook up to it, and I'm, uh, I'm gonna hook up a big monitor. I'm gonna get a big TV for in front of my computer, so I'll have my Cintiq to draw on and I'll have my big TV to have all my applications on and stuff. And I'll also have a big TV if I feel like working on something and watching a movie, which would be great. <laughs> so, all right, thanks. Sure. So now with the Cintiq, um, can, you see, uh, can you see it? Yes, yes, we can. Great. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to draw Woof and Crack. Now, the first thing I do is I get out my pencil. Um, and I, uh, I do a really, really quick sketch. A quick sketch, if you blink, you miss it. It's just a really quick, loose, in, in art school, you would call this a gesture drawing. What it does is it gives you the, the energy, it gives you the pose, it gives you a really, really quick way to put down the figure that you want. Um, in the gesture, it's just a really quick, cool drawing. So here's, here's the gesture drawing of Buff and Crack. Ready? On your mark, get set, go. It's really messy. I don't really, I don't mind that at this point. My computer's running a little slow today, so some of my lines are breaking up here, but 
Um, it's, it's messy because it doesn't matter at this point. It's just a gesture. It just shows like what, how they're supposed to look. I got to slow down a little bit. My computer's not catching up with me today. <laughs> Well, and what's interesting, Ethan, about how you how you do this is uh, it shows these kids that you know, like your first draft doesn't have to be perfect when you're doing right. your drawings. The first draft has to have the information there. Mm -hmm. So uh, the information here is, you know, this is what it's a hat. This is what it's a scarf. This is these are you know, if I drew this versus this, that's a boot. That's a sneaker. So the information is there, is there to, you know, we're putting information down. Now I'll go ahead and craft the information to make it look better. So we're going to do this. Okay, so now um, I'm going to shrink it down a little bit because I want to be able to put my signature there. So we'll shrink that down a little bit. I'm going to put my signature on at the end. I'm going to save this. Okay, so this would be this would be the uh, this would be the sketch. I'm going to uh, put that at about five opacity. What just happened? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Technical difficulties from the artist. He's being difficult. Okay, that's what I wanted. So what I'll do now is I'm going to revise this. I call this, what we call this, a, we, as an illustrator, the team of illustrators that I know all over the world, we, it's usually called a revised sketch. So you're revising it. You're not tracing it. You're not tracing it. You're revising it. You're making it better as you go. So a trace is just you're tracing what you see. A revision is you're making it better as you go. So you'll see what I mean by that. So I'll zoom in a little bit. I'll use blue, I'll use red this time so we can, so you can see. Um, <clears throat> but the revise is, okay, his ears look like this. They come down here. See how it's different than, it's not tracing it. It's, it's making it better. Uh, I'm gonna take his hat. He's got the same hat as I'm wearing right now. Um, going to make his eyes. So this is my favorite part of drawing is, um, or one of them is doing the characters. The writing, writing books is really hard. Um, not only do you have to come up with the idea, but it's gotta be well written. It's gotta have some sort of plot. It's usually should have some sort of theme. It's gotta start out happy. It's gotta have some danger maybe in it. It's gotta have some trouble, maybe some chaos even. And then at the end, it's got to come to a conclusion and the characters have to sort of learn a lesson. So there's a lot, whoops, he's got knickers on. Um, there's a lot that goes into writing a book. Illustrating is a whole other thing. Um, so that's the, that's the revise. I'll put another ear over there for him. Do you use different brushes in the program between your initial sketch and your revisions? I do, yeah, you'll see that. This is my little, this is my little pencil, this is my little pencil drawing. I've got, I've got an array of about seven brushes that I use on a regular basis. And then every once in a while, I'll bring in brushes like this where it'll, you know, put in dot patterns and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but my main, my main, uh, my main collection, there's only seven of them. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, she gets eyelashes, and she gets a scarf as well. 
these two characters were inspired by my wife. When I, I went to Amsterdam a few years ago for a school visit over at the International, uh, the International School over there. And I took my family with me and my wife and I walked around Amsterdam, essentially looking like these two. <laughs> it was fun. She has boots that tie up the sides. Okay, so this is the revised sketch. Not perfect, but it's getting pretty, it's getting pretty close. Sometimes I'll do another revised sketch, just if it's really detailed, just to make sure that I got everything, just to make sure that things are in the right place, make sure that uh, arms are coming off the shoulder and not off the side of the body, just making sure that everything looks cohesive. Um, and it just depends, it just depends on, sometimes it's even just my mood, it depends on my mood. Um, sometimes I don't have time, so I'll just skip a step. And skipping a step doesn't necessarily mean that it makes it worse or that it, um, it, it takes away from the quality of it. It just, sometimes I just have to hustle, frankly. Okay, so this is the sketch. This was the gesture sketch. This is the revised sketch. Now I'm going to put that down to 5%. And I'm going to bust out my ink. So my ink pen is right here. I have it set at five, a five, point, a five pixel hard round. Um, can you can I, you tell the kids what that means? <clears throat> a five pixel pixels um, pixels are part of the uh, resolution of the of the screen. So mm -hmm. if you have the lower the resolution, the, the blurrier the uh, artwork is. If it's really really low resolution, it'll start to cube it'll start to show cubes where the pixels, you know, aren't really uh, high resolution. So <clears throat> the pixel size on my brush depends on how big I want the brush to be. That's okay. a six, that's a, that's a, that's a, hold on. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Okay. So that's a fifth, that's an 80 pixel brush. Mm -hmm. Here, hold on. Let me get my let me get my act together here. Yeah. Uh, so, kids, what what this is like is if you have um, paint brushes and you have big fat ones and some skinny ones and all different sized ones, um, he's mimicking that to a certain degree yes. on the computer. So this is a big brush. This is an eighty pixel brush. This is the this is an eight pixel brush. So if you need a thick, if you need a thin line, that's your brush. If you need a thicker line, that's your brush. And it goes, you can go all the way up as far as you want. Um, but we won't go there. <laughs> we'll stick around, um, I'm gonna stick around seven or eight. That's a nine, this is a nine pixel brush. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll start inking. So this is a slower process. Remember that first process of me really being quick and loose? Well, this is a very tight process here. This, this is what this is what we call the final ink. In, in many ways, I'm tracing this time. This is, this is where I'm tracing. I want it to be like my revised sketch. Occasionally, I'll add lib and make, you know, do things like this, where I'll take like, a, put an extra piece of fur in there or something like that. Um, there's also a Command Z button. If I make a mistake, I can just undo it and do it again. My illustrator friends and I love that. Mm -hmm. I'm very picky. See this little spot right here? See that little, little guy right there? I'm gonna fix that. You can see all the flaws when you zoom in. <laughs> a lot of these flaws, you know, make them just smooth them out a little bit. Um, I love the Cintiq. My friends were talking me into Cintiq for years, and I was using a normal Wacom tablet, which is about a, which is a smaller version of this, and it, 
it doesn't it doesn't work like this where you draw on the screen. It works where you draw on a tablet and it shows up on the screen above you. I've got one right here. It, yeah. 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 And that worked great. I worked, I used that for about seven years and um, it was great, but I was ready for, um, I was ready for a different, uh, different process. You have to keep growing. You've got to keep trying new things. You've got to keep um, pushing the envelope. Sometimes it costs a little bit of money to do that. Like when I bought the Cintiq and the new computer, it's, it's some, I sh you know, you're shelling out some cash, but I use it every day and it makes me, you know, it's how I make my living. So to me, it's just an investment. And like I said, these, these ink lines take a little bit longer time because you're trying to make, um, trying to make it look nice. I am. So is this your, sorry, Jerry, I am going to speed this up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. What were you going to ask? Uh, I was going to ask, is this your final process before you start um, coloring it? Yes. Okay. But sometimes um, this is one of the processes. Like mm -hmm. if I was going to do a rabbit, sometimes I'll do a rabbit. Like if I was going to do a black rabbit with eyes. With pink eyes, say. That might be my process. It might be more solid, more graphic. Mm -hmm. This one's more line oriented. And um, so there's a process for that, which I won't be able to get to today. Yeah. But, um, I'm going to just speed this up a little bit just sure. because of time. And I'm sure everybody's bored by now. So. I know. <laughs> What you want to do, since books are printed for long periods of time, you really do want to, I mean, you want to give every job your best, um, for sure. But when things are being printed and millions of people are going to see them, or um, you really just, what you don't want to do is replicate mistakes. So if you, if, if this is printed 10,000 times, what you don't want to see is your mistake printed 10,000 times. So you really want to go in and, um, <clears throat> And make it nice, make it look really nice, just give it your best. So I don't like the way that looks. <laughs> I don't like the way that one looks. Fred. Oh, you can also, we can do this too. I can also rotate. So um, that might make this easier to do here. Do you have one of the characters that you enjoy drawing more than any of the others? I, um, not really anymore. I, I do like drawing birds. I have a, mm -hmm. I have a thing for birds. My, my dad passed away 20 years ago and, um, almost 21 now. And, uh, I started drawing birds just like, you know, like birds like this. Mm -hmm. So, um, I do like drawing birds. There are places I can go and, and feel, uh, feel safe and feel comforted. Uh, I do like making people laugh. So, um, you know, I, I do like doing the cartoon character versions of those. Like he, this is a bird essentially to me. Mm -hmm. So it's the same bird. It brings me the same joy. This one makes people laugh and, um, I, I, I don't know anything better from, from my point is than to make somebody smile. If you can make somebody smile, um, that's a pretty uh, powerful thing, especially when they're not in the mood to. If you can make someone smile who's not in the mood to smile, you've got a gift. Yeah, that, that is absolutely for sure. I have uh, Growing up with family and things, and I, uh, my, my brothers and my sisters and I, they're probably the funniest people I know. And I hope they'd say the same thing about me. Um, <laughs> but we had to make each other laugh because there's things in our life, life that um, weren't so funny. 
when I say that, I mean divorce. Um, I mean uh, very adult themes like alcoholism, sure. things like that. Mm -hmm. Her 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 boot. Look how her leg. Her leg looks like it's sticking on the back of her. Here, let's move that. <laughs> it's terrible. It's the worst leg I've ever drawn. Let's see. That's better. Normally, I will. Um, I'll put my music on and blast it and just um, go to town. Mm -hmm. uh, I listen to all kinds of music. I'm a music, kind of a music buff, but don't test me on that. <laughs> um, I like all kinds of stuff. And my kids have uh, taken to that very well. My Two of my kids are musicians. One's a jazz rock musician. One is a classical musician. Um, so, uh, woof. <laughs> woof. And Kvac. I don't like that though. There we go. And there you have it. So that's a clean ink line. What I'll do next is color it, but I don't have time for that. So what I'm going to do right now, everyone, is I'm going to um, sign this. I'm going to send it to Mr. Jeremy, mm -hmm. and then he can uh, – um, you can download or he'll email – I don't know how he's going to – Yeah, he gonna, no, I, will get, I will get it to you, and then you can print it out, and um, you can color it in yourself. And um, once you do, I would love to see um, – see what you make of it. So if you can uh, take a picture and send it back to me, I can get that back to, uh, um, to oh, you mean like, Ethan here. You mean like color it myself? No, no, I'm saying for the kids to color it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, I, so, I'm sorry. I, I want to see I thought, what they do. You said you, and I thought you meant me. I'm sorry. Nope, nope. I'm a... <laughs> um, so that's that's really the process. Um, does anyone uh, have any questions? I would. I don't know if you're, we're doing that, Jeremy. Okay. Yeah, we can. Um, I see. Uh, here, let me, I'm going to ask you to unmute. Hey, can I come back to um, the screen? Can I stop? Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Any question, honey? What's your question? Go ahead and ask your question. Um, did you, what order did you write the books in? What, what order? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> Hello World was first, Sun and Moon was second, Car Signs and Porcupines was third, and the Sun and Moon book, I mean, I'm sorry, and the Seasons book is um, number four. And if you're wondering, I'm not injured. This is my uh, my Cintiq hand. It keeps my hand from sticking to the screen. It's just a smooth glow. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's cool. Do you want to show him your hand? Or show him the dog? Um, hold it up. I drew a picture of um, the dog. Can you hold it up? It's Wolf. <laughs> yeah. It's Wolf. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> it's Wolf. It's Wolf. It's great. <laughs> Did you have a question too? Question, Nora? Oh, you want to show them your drawing? Okay. Yep. Another is, drawing for you. This is my ducky. This is. Is that Wolf and Crack? This is Bunny over here. Wait. Hey, hey girls. Me. Hey girls. I want you to. I want one of you to say Wolf and one of you to say Quack. Can you say that? Can you say Wolf? Wolf. You say Quack. Crappy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys say thank you? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, girls. <laughs> Freaky, bye, bye. <laughs> All right. Does anybody else have anything they want to say? Or um... okay, did you want to say something? I see you're pointing down there. Wait, here. You gotta. Let me see if I can. Can you get your dad to unmute you?
Hey, Brett Brown, unmute. Yeah. <laughs> this is my baby here. And this, and Wait, my that's your baby? That's mom. your baby? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> this baby Did you have a question? <laughs> no, this baby I is mine. And yeah, that. Uh, baby is mine. Oh, Laura pretty much just wanted to uh, to get on the audio footage because it's this one's birthday today. So, well, happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Which one? What's her name? So this is Maya's third. Maya's third birthday. Happy birthday, Maya! Happy. Today's <laughs> October eleventh. Wow! <laughs> and you're gonna be what six? Yeah. 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 Yes. And I'll be six. be six next birthday. Wow. <laughs> and I will be I'm five miles. Soon going to be three, but two. Like, you know, in three weeks, I'm going to be 53. I'm can old. You, can we even count that high? No. <laughs> 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 No. Thanks, Browns. Yeah, thank you very much. We have a question. Okay. Right? Yes. Yeah. You were wondering how you come you, up with your. Go ahead. You come up with the ideas of your characters and how to write the books. Oh my gosh, the ideas. Um, <clears throat> ideas. Well, let me ask you this: Have you ever had an idea about something? Uh huh. Yeah. So where did it come from? Well, it well it was inspired from like a, a few different animals. Have you ever gotten an idea when you're like brushing your teeth and you're like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Or <laughs> you're walking the dog and you're like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Or you're just <laughs> doing nothing and an yeah. idea pops in your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same thing here. Sometimes my kids will say something to me um, when my young son was probably four, we were walking in our big backyard that we used to have, and um, I, we looked up in the, I looked up in the trees, and I said, hey, Cooper, I said, what do you think is up there? And he said, dragons. And I went, oh, okay. So I wrote a book called One Drowsy Dragon um, based on that. And um, they come from all over the place. Is your name Aria? Aria, ideas come from all over the place. They come... It's an amazing, ideas are an amazing thing. They, they come from just, they come out, they just come out of the sky. It's like reaching into the sky and just plucking them out of the sky. That's what they're like. I can't explain it. It just, they just, they're just there. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that it's probably going to wrap us up for the day. Um, I wanted to say thank you so much to Ethan for joining us. Um, Again, I'm, glad, you can stop I'm glad we could keep the Browns interested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, they, they, for that age group, they stuck around for a long time. So they I'll did. take it. <laughs> really did. Um, but seriously, thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by. Um, we really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I will get those uh, a, a print of that. Um, of the drawing he did out to all of you. So I'd love to see your coloring of it. All right. Hey, thanks so much, everybody. Have a good day. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye now. Bye.